Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to take a look at two key features with proximity with the WebEx desktop app and how you use it to interact with a video endpoint. In this case, I have a DX80 here. This is actually the same for all video endpoints, however, DX80 through RoomKit, RoomKit Pro, you name it, uh, WebEx board. Uh, so with that being said, let's dive in and check it out. First thing, we're going to look at just sharing our screen via proximity. Second, we're going to look at starting a meeting with proximity. All right, so to get started, you wanna open up the WebEx desktop app, look for the WebEx icon on your computer, Mac or PC, uh, or search for it. Open up the desktop app, you'll see something like what I have on the screen here. Uh, there's a couple things we wanna look for. We wanna look for the connect to a device at the bottom here, and you can see uh, my demo DX80 has been found. Go ahead and open that up, and sharing your screen is simply as uh, complicated as hitting share, on device. You can then choose which, uh, you know, which screen you want to share or which application you want to share. So it's very similar to WebEx where you have the ability to control what is shared to the endpoint. Uh, you have the option to optimize for motion and video or share computer audio as well. I'm simply going to just share my screen. The share will start and you'll notice the desktop will pop up on the screen of the DX80 or, or whatever video endpoint it is that you're in front of. Sharing your screen is cool, but what if we want to actually open a WebEx meeting on our laptop and use that meeting to then launch into the call on a video endpoint? This essentially makes your uh, laptop a remote control of sorts for that video endpoint uh, that you might be in front of. Uh, and it, it, it allows you to join on a better experience from an audio and video perspective than the lid camera and the you know microphone and speakers in your laptop. Uh, goes without saying it's also a better experience than a group of people huddling around your laptop because you're now using the video endpoint in the room to join the meeting. Let's check out how this is done right now as well. So first things first, if you open up the meeting, however you might access it. In this case, I'm going to use the WebEx desktop app to hit the join button, but the join button can be found in the email invite. It can be found on the WebEx you know, web page, uh, or again, in the WebEx meetings desktop app. Simply click the green start meeting button as you typically would. The application will open. Now, if you are in physical proximity of an endpoint, you will notice uh, one of two things. One, that the, uh, or the first option being that the endpoint is already discovered. If for some reason it's either not discovered or not connected but is, but is found, uh, your screen will look more like this and you can choose the option in the lower left that says use video system. If you click this, you will be greeted with the list of desktop uh, or video endpoints that are available in your proximity. If for some reason you can't find one, you have the option to search your directory or enter the address of the endpoint manually if you're so inclined. In this case, our DX80 is available and I check that box and you see it is uh, connected. Now, my meeting presets are already in place. I can change the mute option. We, we do want to start the meeting muted just in case there's already a conversation underway. From here, I can simply click start meeting the meeting will be launched. You see it says waiting for others to join. I am the first participant. Takes a few seconds, but the endpoint is now also joined to the meeting. You notice that I started the meeting muted. The endpoint, if you can see the red mute indicator, is also lit because it is muted as well. My, end, my laptop was muted, the app was muted, the endpoint is also muted. So these functionalities can work from both places and they update from both places as well. So if I unmute the endpoint, it's going to be unmuted in the desktop app. One thing I do want to show you here is in the roster, you can see demo DX80 is my video endpoint. In my name, my username shows up uh, under that endpoint and it's indented. If I had more participants, they would actually be listed down here, but anyone physically uh, in proximity of that endpoint is going to be indented underneath it uh, in the roster. And this allows folks on the other end to see that, hey, this, these people are joining from this 
conference system or this room, uh, but they are, you know, they're all there together. They're a sub item under that system in the roster. So that is how you join a meeting uh, with proximity enabled. You can actually exit the meeting the same way. So if I hit end meeting, I can, uh, I'm the host, so I have the option to end the meeting outright or simply to leave it. And uh, I have left on, from the perspective of the desktop app, the endpoint remains in the meeting. If I had said uh, end, you know, end the meeting, it would have ended it for both. So anyway, that is it. That is how to use proximity with video endpoints from the WebEx desktop app. If you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks about how to use this uh, functionality, please leave them in the video comment section below. As always, I want to thank you for watching and hope to see you back sometime soon.